Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. And I am glad to be back. We're gonna get started today. I'm starting from the menu screen because I know what a precarious position I left myself in at the end of last episode. We had restarted as Woody, we had found gold, and then I chopped too many trees and transformed into a werebeaver, and I finished the episode in the middle of a werebeaver transformation. How impossible do I want to make this on myself? Well, one thing that's going to make it easier is your advice. I got a bunch uh, from the last episode, <laughs> including one of my uh, subscribers, longtime subscriber, basically going, dude, you need to pick up your game. You suck. Go watch a tutorial. And I've tried. Uh, and I've taken your advice and I've played a bit off camera. We're going to start. <clears throat> but we're going to start in the middle of chaos and hopefully we can come through it. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Jeez, my throat. Let's do this thing. Play. And it's this one. That was my practice run in the middle of it. Took till day nine till I transformed to a werebeaver. This one, day three. We're going to try and bang out maybe two more days in this episode. Let's, uh, let's go. I think it's early day three, so I think we're going to do all day three, all day four. And, uh, yes, very early. Okay, yeah, we're in the middle of the transformation. I think we want to let this wind down if we can. Uh, let's keep digging things up. Don't pick any fights I can't pick, but don't eat any damn logs, because, uh, the longer you stay aware, Beaver, the rougher it is on you. Isn't this great music? Last couple episodes, I had the music down, so I had to add them in myself. I want to retransform before... Dang, I need to... I need to be Woody again before, uh, before dark. Can I bust up boulders? I can bust up boulders. How powerful. I might as well, right? What a vicious beast this beaver is. Lord, guys. I would, I would love to be able to stay like this, but I know what happens when you come out. I know what you gotta deal with. It's chaos, pure chaos. Get lost, snakes. Oh, we're gonna have to fight snakes on our way back. Let's try and kill them. There we go. Oh, that log meter's running down. We are gonna be Woody again in another... Oh, God, day... Th we're gonna lose all of day three. It's gonna be gone. Look at how time flies when you're the werebeaver. Come on, bring me back. Let's find a pile of my stuff. There you go, Lucy. I'll, I'm waiting for you. I'll be back. Hopefully we... Oh, man. If we come back to life and it's nighttime... Good lord, this could be ugly. I don't even know where my fire pit is. There's a... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's early day four. We got snakes right on top of us. Sanity is an absolute mess. Absolute mess. So let's pick up as much of our stuff as we can. Uh, we'll keep circling around because uh, sanity is an immediate concern. Good thing I left all these flowers. But we got snakes. We got, oh, we got big problems, man. Oh, guys, I hope I can pull through this. I Like, I've been playing in my uh, off time. Like I said, I built drying racks. I built crock pots. I started making better food. Got some serious armor going, which I'm sure we'll be able to do. Honestly, the moment that I can get away from these snakes or pick up a weapon worthy of fighting snakes with. All right, let's try and do that then. Where is a spear or uh, what did I have? Did I have a spear? Just Lucy's. I love Lucy, but she's no good in a fight. It's going to take a hundred swings. There you go. I can't afford to be doing this right now. Get lost, man. Okay, guys, we got a fight on our hands. Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay, what do I have that can help me right now? I have flower petals. Yes. Okay, let's stop and we'll make a garland. All right? And the other flower petals, we're going to eat them. We're going to eat them to bring that health back up. Pick those up. And uh, the butterfly wings are going to help too. And I think I can afford to eat one piece of monster meat. Yeah, I can eat another. Okay. Cool. And we got to pick up. I guess we got to pick up more. Maybe we can get the rest of our stuff. And hopefully some flowers. We gotta get this sanity going because that will kill you so fast. This is gonna be an episode of struggle. I know it and I'm sorry, guys. I'll do my best to pull us and old Woody out of this this mess. That werebeaver, it's such a powerful tool. Like, you saw what I was able to do. I just 
chew through boulders, dig up things with ease, but I mean, look at the consequences. You come out of it, you lose 50% of health, sanity, and hunger. You're an absolute mess. Get back here, you stupid butterfly. I'm gonna eat you alive. All right, leave her alone. <laughs> okay, do I have a fire pit on this island? I got nothing on this island? Man, I, I left myself in a dire situation. All right, right, we're flattening this jungle. That was the idea. I remember now. Flatten the jungle and build a new base, which I am going to right now. Do I have enough for a, a permanent fire pit? No, let's try and pick up some rocks. I, I hope I have a pile of them over here. Okay, yes, uh, almost enough. Okay, we got a pick somewhere in here? Yes, we do. Let's break up some, oh, here's some rocks. Here's exactly what we need. All right, and permanent fire pit coming right the hell up. There we go. All right, and let's uh, pick up a ton of logs. Let's see, uh, I have any grass? I need some grass. Oh, good, that music is a good sign. There could be no grass on this island at all. Right, okay, so I'm not gonna be able to make armor until we leave it, uh, unless I can f make rope out of something else. I don't think so. Okay, give me my machete, and we'll teach this fricked up snake a god dang lesson. Get taught a lesson. There you go, monster meat, perfect. Now, are we in a position to build a science machine? Let's keep advancing. No, we need more stones. Uh, there should be plenty around here. Let's get that pick out, and let's do that. Santa, everything's... I mean, it's, it's bad. We're in rough shape, but we could survive this for sure. Uh, these rocks are what I need. What can I drop? There we go. Yep, one more rock. That's all we need. Oh, this is ugly. We gotta get, we gotta get ourselves back in order. We gotta make a comeback. Man, that kills you so quick. I gotta be more careful. I gotta learn exactly how that curse works. <clears throat> and find, honestly, a way to avoid it. Because that, that was rough. It's, like I said, a powerful tool, but he's put us in a dangerous position. <clears throat> There's two ways I could do this series, guys, and I've kind of gone back and forth in my head over which one's the right one. Actually, hang on. Why don't I take a sip of coffee while I talk to you? We're 10 minutes in. It's time. Yes, two ways I could approach this series. One uh, is record in batches. Uh, batches where I sit down and play for a big chunk of time. I'm going to cook this and I'm going to eat this and we're going to see what happens. Okay, that I can live with that. That's going to bring that sanity slowly back up. And we're going to collect some food resources, which we're very, very low on, but we'll, uh, we'll survive here. I think we're, I think we've managed to pull it out. Yes, and now time for a science machine. Yeah, if I record in batches, guys, that means I get to play the game for long stretches. I get to get in a groove, remember, you know, all the tips and tricks, everything I'd learned in the previous, you know, in the, the run up to what you're seeing. Uh, that, that is one way to do it, but the problem with that is I don't get to implement your advice. Honestly, if I play like that, here, oh, we're low on wood. Uh, I can make a shovel now, and I will. Um, get lost, you snake. I can make a spear. Don't make me make a spear. Oh, God, I'm gonna have to fight this thing. Give me the machete. Okay, we're in a fight. And the whole damn snake army, as usual, coming to hang out with us. Get lost, you freaks. Oh, I'm gonna destroy you, and I'm gonna make a snakeskin jacket out of ya. I need more snake skins if I'm gonna do that. Oh, he got me. Shoot. Okay, you're down. Okay, we... Oh, what can I add to this fire? Lord, we're in a rough... Let's cook this egg up. Let's eat it. And I'm gonna cook up my monster mate, too. I don't know what we're gonna do with it all. I got spear guns. I got some random crap in this inventory that doesn't need to be in my inventory right now. Like, why so many pine cones? Oh, you know what? If you don't plant those, you may have to deal with some crazy tree monster, so I'll plant a few pine cones around here. I'll re reforest the area and hopefully avoid these spiders. Dang. Okay. Yes. Now, what I'm actually doing, guys, instead of recording in big batches is recording uh, sort of on shorter notice. I'm recording this a day before you're going to be seeing it, which means uh, I'm not getting ahead, and it means I can take your advice. 
For example, uh, like I said, Briley telling me you gotta make a drying rack, Peter saying you gotta get the crock pot, you gotta maybe level up, get some weapons, armor. I, I, I can do those things now, and you can see it in the next episode. So today, guys, leave me some advice in the comments, and I will wait until you have seen this episode to record the next one. That's basically the whole gist of what I was trying to say there. It took me the first 13 minutes of the episode, more or less. And we're, we're, we're slowly making a comeback. I mean, this isn't good. We're going to go for grass, I think. Uh, we're going to go... Yeah, we're going to go maybe run back to our old island... See if we can start picking up some resources there because I have tapped some of what's available in this jungle. And we're yeah, we're gonna need some we're gonna need some grass to make some rope before we can make a spear, before we can make armor, and those things are on my immediate to-do list. If you hear the crazy monsters out here. You know what? Why don't I wait till morning, guys? I'll come back with you when I'm in the open ocean and headed back to uh, the last island we occupied. Maybe I can pick up some resources out there. God, that's far. Maybe I'll pick... No, we'll head back there. Good stuff back that way. Okay, cool. I've decided, guys, I'm going to try to leave the resources in the sea until I really need them. Uh, things like jellyfish, uh, they're a challenge to fight anyway. Um, they take down your health. Uh, but the seaweed, I hope we can continue to live off the, the land for the time being until we are uh, starting to set up a farm starting to set up some maybe dig up and replant some berry bushes or build a basic farm and get, get that going and while we're waiting for those farms to start feeding us that's when we'll use the fruit of the sea the resources of the ocean to feed this old ginger uh ginger headed bearded lumberjack fool that we have decided to play with this time it was a terrible curse of turning into a werebeaver I did have just enough grass with me, guys, so I've made a log suit, I've made a spear. We're five days in. At some point, we're going to have to deal with uh, an attack. Mutant hounds, or whatever they're called. Maybe I've been playing too much Fallout. But we're going to have to deal with those creatures. I just realized my mouse pointer was on the screen. I'm very sorry for those of you that are ADD, a little bit like me, or OCD. I don't know which one it is. This is a long ocean ride that we made, but we found gold out there. I left it all there, so we're going to try and get some resources from this island and head back that way. Alright guys, I have not shown you the last little stretch there because it was quite boring. I went back to the island we started on and now I'm headed back to the one that is filled with tons and tons of gold with that little pocketed jungle we're going to clear out in the middle. The island where I transformed into the Beaver. We're headed back there and uh, I, I think we're doing good. I've, I've largely recovered. And look at this. This is a great source of coral. We'll come out here, like I said, when we want to feed ourselves off the ocean uh, with jellyfish, with, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, seaweed, and uh, hopefully with some fishing. And we're going to get started on a farm back on the original island. The only problem is I have yet to find very much, um, very many berry bushes and no monkeys. So we'll have to make our own fertilizer, which you do. Uh, by putting perishable items on the ground and letting them rot. Uh, so we'll use stuff like um, uh, flower petals and other things like that. And um, we'll get ourselves started. Am I here? Not quite, eh? Jeez, I wonder if I'm going to need some of this coconut. No, coconut. Dang it. Uh, seaweed to feed myself. No. We'll get back to the main island. We'll try and leave this seaweed for once we've got the basics of a farm started. It'll feed us through the, the tough early days of getting uh, resources out of the, the farms. And I've got a ton of charcoal. Uh, we'll be set for lumber and with uh, stone. We've got some back, tons of that back on this island. And um, we'll be able to get ourselves started with uh, crock pot, which is really good. You can combine up to four ingredients uh, and make better food. Basically, that's it's a very simple, uh, simple situation. But we, oh, we have an X that marks the spot, and we have never dug it on this island because we didn't have, we didn't have a shovel. Let's go dig that up. I forgot all about that. That's why we came this way in the first damn place. Uh, you know, I mm, leave the seaweed, leave it as long as you can. You can survive. You'll find food on this little island. I'm sure you will. I'm worried. That's the one thing that worries me on this island. We got to get going with food. And we got to get going with food quick. Um, where's my shovel at? I got one, right? Yeah. All right. And I know we're gonna we're loaded with gold. Where's the X? Ahead and down. Perfect. Here. Dig it. Yes, okay. What? What was in there? Oh, wow. 
Oh, crazy, a top hat, a spyglass, some gold, some rope, some blue gems, and a luxury machete. Oh, we gotta get a, either a torch going. Yeah, let's just get a torch going for, okay, drop, drop something. Pick up the torch, light the torch. Okay, let's play it safe. We'll come back here for that glorious boot, booty, that bounty uh, later. This is the forest we were trying to clear out. It looks pretty good. We've done a pretty good job of flattening this thing when we were the werebeaver. I've replanted a ton of trees, but look, we're back at our base. Awesome. I wasn't sure we'd make it back here healthy and uh, with enough resources to kind of carry on. I guess I can burn a ton of lumber. We're going to have lots and lots of that at this spot. Uh, and lots and lots. Yeah, it was just grass that we had a problem with, and I picked a ton of it. Uh, now, we're going to need the resources to uh, uh, fertilize this, but we'll work on that. For now, let's just get a little grass farm started, and we'll build maybe a basic farm as well. Uh, yeah, this is tons. We're going to be able to... We're going to be... If we can get this fertilized, we're going to be set for grass here. There we go. Two more. Yep. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm wondering, eating monster meat. Bad for the health, good for the hunger. We can at least do one. All right. That's it. Then we have to find a way to get that health back up. Shoot. This is going to be rough. Your light ran out. I didn't even realize you were still using a light. See, now these mushrooms usually have the opposite effect uh, from when they're cooked. When this one's cooked, it helps your sanity. I wonder what it helps. I'll take it. I'll take either, maybe. Oh, good. It took sanity down. That's solid. And health and hunger up. We're good for sanity right now. I'm not worried. We got a couple berry bushes, too, so I can plant those. And we got the beginnings of a farm. Now, we need to get ourselves working on some rot, which hopefully there's going to be some flower petals left in this forest, maybe up in the northern part. If not, oh, I don't know. Uh, we should get a hammer going too, because then I'm going to want to break down that chest that's up there so we can build a new one. What do I need for a hammer? Three rocks. Uh, I know I left a big pile of rocks around here somewhere, but we'll just scavenge up a little for the time being. Oh, and we can make a pig friend. You guys know how that went last time. Oh, you know, we're not going to have to... Oh, we have monster meat. He'll love this. Okay, let's go make a new friend. Oh, all right. Danger. Caution. Last friend I made killed me. Oh, wow. An efficient screw thing. What is a screw thing? I'll just take it, but we'll see. Uh, give. You like it? I'll follow. Here, take another one. What's your name? Basiliscus. Was that what it was? That's a terrible name if that's what it actually was. Uh, still got spiders up here. Dang, resource is gonna be tight. Ain't no flower petals up here. Shoot. Shoot. Okay. Well, we'll have to keep chopping down trees, and maybe we'll use some bananas to make rot. And what am I going to eat? We're going to have to set out. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's find some seeds. Let's make a farm. Uh, hopefully somebody drops some seeds around here. And how do I make a farm? Let's get up behind this thing. A frog pot. What should be the next... Hmm. Okay. Crock pot needs cut stone. Improved farm. I need that manure. Basic farm, I, I need the manure. Okay, crock pot is our next priority. Just need some rope. I got enough grass. Beautiful. Let's do this thing. And this, this is a great way to uh, uh, end this episode, guys, is by with me getting a crock pot, getting myself set up. And Lord, this is looking good. We're, we're almost, we're doing better. This is, we've, we've, we just built a thing that we've never built before. Why don't I, oh, I don't have the food. Oh, that was a drying rack. Another crock pot. What does a crock pot need? Cut stone? Yeah, let's do let's make some cut stone. Do I have the resources? I don't have the resources. Dang it. Okay, drying rack it is. Drying rack turns your meat into jerky. Now, we don't really have any meat. I've got this stuff. I, I suppose I could oh it's already been cooked. That's the problem. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna go search. Oh, bananas, eh? Bananas I can maybe lay around for rot. I could, let's see. Let's put these down. They're already past their prime. And hopefully they turn into fertilizer. Evil flower I'll pick. What does that do to me? I know it's bad, right? Bad on the sanity. But this is free This is free fertilizer if I can pick these off the ground and drop them. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So, next priority is... Lord, getting something to put in that crock pot to show you guys how it's, the freaking thing's gonna work. 
Or drying rack, sorry, that's what I meant. Let's see if we can't find ourselves some meat to put in this drying rack. Where's my boat? Oh, well, my boat's far away. <laughs> Alright, why don't you give me a minute? I'm going to see if I can find at least a decent way to end this episode for you guys. Alright, there is some rot. And let me plant these. There's also some manure given to us by Basilicus. Bas... Is that what it is? Basiliscus. And that means we can fertilize, which is the start of our very own supply of food. Fertilize you. Take this rot, fertilize you, and we'll use the next stuff we get on the grass. For now, we'll survive. Guys, you know what? I was going to put something on this drying rack to end this episode. Screw it. We'll do it next episode. Uh, but I am serious about surviving. I'm serious about making a run. Keep giving me your tips, your tricks, and I'll do my best to implement them in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this one. And I'm not going to end it by hitting Basiliscus in the face with an axe. I'm just going to say goodbye. See you, geeks. Oh. My. God. Um. Right. Not who I thought you were. Seriously. I didn't realize we were going to be dealing with a super mutant.